All right, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know that I've ever been more pumped about doing a video, but I've been bartering for reels and I've got a barter box unboxing for lose reels that I'm about to hit you with in just a second. Pow! <laughs> Alright everybody, this is not my arsenal by any means, but this is how I've acquired um, one, two, three, six new reels, five of them lose in uh, basically the last month, and I think I've spent a grand total of uh, a little over a hundred bucks. And some of these reels themselves, well, three of them are worth over a hundred bucks by themselves. So without further ado, I've joined a few Facebook groups, fishing free for all and something about Carl's baits. Uh, definitely at least one, if not two, uh, lose reels communities. And uh, I've made deals and I am a firm believer in searching Facebook marketplace all the time and I just ask people what they would do and some people are willing to trade stuff relatively crazy so I have this box this came from Fort Collins Colorado and uh, the guy had three lures or three lose reels a Mach 2 an LFS which I love and an American hero and when I contacted him about his post on a lose site, it came down to uh, someone else had made a deal and um, it fell through. So I contacted them and uh, said, hey, I'm gonna throw this gift card and these lures I've made and these boxes of lures. And I ended up putting three lures. I had a shop Carl's box. I put one Plano, 3700 box full of plastics and lures and two 3600 Plano boxes full of Sankos, rubber worms and then I took a bunch of mystery tackle box stuff that I didn't think I'd ever use and threw it in there and said hey you want to trade and he said yeah I'm just getting in the fishing I don't like bait casters and uh, I'll trade you and I think I got about $300 worth of reels for uh, and basically for some baits that were good baits but I either had three or four of everything or dozens of everything and boxes that I've got stacked up I think I'm some places I have boxes 10 12 totes high just all lures that I'm not going to use so this is what I got the first one is the camo version of the Luz American Hero, which is a discount reel. It's not aluminum. It's a composite graphite plastic reel. This one's in um, 7.1 to 1. You know, it doesn't have a great drag. It doesn't have a great magnet system for breaking. It came pre-spooled it looks relatively new and uh, I think these are 69 bucks but you can find them for 59 bucks sometimes 49 or 39 bucks so um, it's cool it's the MCS speed spool American hero version uh, you know what it's smooth it's pre-lined I think it's got six ball bearings it's, to me it's basically the classic pro which a lot of people like uh, my boy Debo who's uh, my boy Debo who's right up here uh, likes the classic pro in fact he's one of the guys that sold me on lose and got me uh, last summer convinced to buy my my first LFS so the American hero in camo I think I'm gonna put this on a rod and use it as a crankbait reel or spinnerbait reel because it's not aluminum, so you don't want to put a lot of torque on it, but it's just fine. It, honestly, it looks like it just came out of the box brand new, so I don't know how I can go wrong with that. So that's 
Uh, unboxing reel number one, Lou's um, American Hero. Second one, this thing looks to me mint condition, right-handed LFS, which I'll go ahead and link my LSF, LFS re reel review in here. I love doing reel reviews. They do pretty well. This is the 7.5 to 1. This has got the uh, 10 ball bearings, 15 pound drag. It's aluminum frame. I mean, uh, I've said before, the Shimao LSX and the Luz uh, LFS, that's to, in my opinion, it's the two best reels you can get for 99 bucks. It's aluminum, it's not gonna torque, you're not gonna mess up the gears, it's got a good enough drag. It's a sweet gig. Uh, this is a $99 reel. You might be able to find it right now for $89, maybe $79. Bucks. Maybe you can find it on eBay for less than that, but you can't you can't beat it. It's fantastic. That's the Lose LFS. Uh, and the next one, and uh, this one's a little bit of a question mark for me because I don't know. This is the Mach 2 from Luz. This is 7.5 to 1, 10 ball bearings, super smooth. It, uh, it's on the SLP, that's super low profile frame. Um, to me, these are very close to the same reels. The difference is the LFS has an aluminum frame and the Mach 2 doesn't. The Mach 2 has a little bit of an upgrade in gears and braking systems, and it's got the uh, wind grips. The LFS just has the paddle grips, and it has good enough braking system. I mean, it's, it's incredible. Like I said, as good as you can get an aluminum frame, 99 to a $79 reel. I think this comes in at like 139 you might be able to get it for 129 119 wind grips is a big thing some people love them i don't know we'll find out but when i spin this it feels almost the same this might be a hair heavier and it's uh, aluminum and this one's not some people are fans of the bright green some people aren't honestly i don't care <laughs> I'm going to have two LFS's because I've got another one right here that I bought last summer. So I got two LFS's. I fished five, six tournaments. This made it to Minnesota. Fished it hard a lot. This is a great reel. And now I have two. They're both in the 7.5 to 1 gear ratio. I got two of them. I got another reel that's at a higher price point, but I don't know if it's any better. But we're going to find out. Uh, tournaments next summer. Uh, last year, I went to Minnesota twice, and after I came back from the second trip, we hit tournaments pretty hard. Uh, I think we did five or six. I don't, I don't even remember, but people might be saying, well, why do you need so many reels? Well, you're in a tournament, and you've got three hours, and you're spending 45 minutes of that traveling. You're two hours and 15 minutes to fish, and you don't have time to change baits. You better have rods and, and reels and line and baits already rigged up ready to go because you don't have time and uh, this gives me a, a one more option so it's super smooth I saw a few things where I saw that maybe it's been used but not not used much so that's my unboxing for the LFS the Mach 2 and the American Hero um, yeah for my son, uh, he's going to go with me on one of those Minnesota trips, and uh, I found this through a Facebook group, a Lose community group, where I got the Xfinity. This is a 7.5 to 1. This is an 8 bearing reel. This is not um, the aluminum frame. It's the graphite composite plastic frame whatever but uh, boy it feels just like all the rest it's just not aluminum 
Uh, how much better is the Mach 2 than the Xfinity? I don't know. This has the paddle grips, but they're combat. It's got the bright green and the white. I don't know. But I've been thinking about putting this on a, a ducket rod with some braid. And my son likes spinner baits and frogs, and I think this will be great. So we'll see. So I added that to the roster. Oh, and down here, uh, my buddy Maj with 217 Bassin sold me this one kind of a deal we made last summer we go to minnesota together and we fish tournaments together we're kind of quasi partners when he's not hating me um this is a quantum icon pt this is a aluminum frame this is 11 ball bearing so by all means this should be uh aluminum and higher ball bearings the best reel of the bunch but maj was a a quantum guy and uh, he made the switch to lose and he's got all kinds of lose right now way more than me and uh, I basically bought this one for the St. Croix rod that it came on but again now I'm looking at right here alone I've got six and another seven and eight in the garage plus a couple good spinning Akuma reels that I like uh, I love Akuma, Akuma spin, spinning reels I'll link some of my Akuma stuff right in here um, I really feel like I've turned the corner and became a better fisherman just because I've upgraded my reels so much but uh, the icon I haven't used it we're gonna see it is super smooth it's been beat up it's been tournament tested and made trips to Minnesota it's no heavier than the rest it's aluminum it's got more ball bearings it's got a good drag it's got the clicks clicks on the tension knob clicks clicks on the drag yeah, it's another good reel so um, I also have one of my former students that wants to trade me a spinning rod because he bought an American hero and put it on a ducket rod and decided he's not a bait caster guy and wants one of my spinning reels and we're gonna make that trade so that's gonna give me two American Heroes, two LFS, the Quantum, the Xfinity, and the Mach 2. And I really feel like um, I stepped up my fishing game quite a bit here recently. So um, that's where I'm at. I'm going to do some individual reel reviews of each of these reels when I feel like I've used them enough to do a good review, a good honest review. And I might do some compare and contrast like the difference between a, a mock and an Xfinity or an Xfinity and a uh, American Hero or American Hero and a Classic Pro. Um, I need to acquire a few more. I need to use them a bunch and, and gather that information, but all that's on the horizon. So remember to subscribe and like and make some comments. What do you think of the LFS? What do you think of the Mach 2? What do you think of the Xfinity or the American Hero? What do you think of this? quantum icon pt with the 11 ball bearings and the aluminum frame tell me what you think and uh, enjoy what you're doing and i enjoy doing this so look up my real reviews and like and subscribe and have a good time in the outdoors sagaman out